Anyway, you guys, when you guys were in America, did you guys go trick or treating? Yeah. Did, did you do Halloween? Mm hmm. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. You're listening to Small Talk Kagoshima, the best English podcast discussing everything you love about Japan. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Small Talk Kagoshima. On this podcast, we talk about all things Japan and Kagoshima in English. I'm Michi, and this is my co host, Natsuki. And Hayato. And today we're wearing <laughs> costumes because it's Halloween. Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Now, uh, Hayato, what's your costume? Um, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Yes. Natsuki, you're a witch? I'm a witch. And I have a little, how do you say komori in English? Kra, kra, kra. Bat. 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 Batman's bat. I have a little bat here. And a little witch hat. Witch hat. And I am, do you guys know who I am? Um, Superhero? Medieval man. No, this is, this is <laughs> from Breath of the Wild. It's Zelda. It's Link. Link's, <laughs> Link's. One of his tunics. I'm not a game person. So I don't know. Dude, he's a video game character. Uh, the same. You know, you know me. Yeah, right? I, I know Donkey Kong, but you know, I know I have heard Zelda, but I don't know his costume. Is so, that a famous one? Well, actually, in the new game on the Switch, Nintendo Switch, like uh, Link actually has a lot of different. What's the Link? Link name? is the name it's of. A, oh, okay. it's, a, it's him. He's the one with oh. the shield and the sword, and he wears this. Oh, uh, not Z Zelda is a name. Zelda is the name of the princess. Oh, it's oh, a really? princess. Yeah, the oh, princess. it's not the main guy. No, the main guy's name is Link. Okay, I thought Link is wearing the like, green thing. He oh. used to. He uh, used to he wear. Used to. And then they have this new game out. So okay, so for my birthday back in March, uh -huh. uh, everybody gave me a Switch so I could play Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is this game. Are you a video game person? I love Zelda. Oh really? But it's been seven months. Mm -hmm. And I've played it a grand total of maybe four hours. <laughs> Only. Because I don't have time to play it. <laughs> but anyway, this is his, this is his costume. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's a video game character. Just like Donkey Kong. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, when you guys were in America, did you guys go trick-or-treating? Yeah. Did, did you do Halloween? Mm -hmm. Trick-or-treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. That's my favorite. Good, no, like, the, like the first thing? time I hear... Like smell my feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that like the things that you remember, Natsuki, it's amazing. Uh, -huh. uh you when you went trick or treating, did you get candy? Yeah, America? I got it. Um, in I got Fontana, it. California. Fontana, California. What kind of candy did you get? Do you remember? Yes, like, you know, I don't know the names, but you know, like, you know, chocolates, candies and then peanut butter creams are inside. Maybe a butterfinger? Butterfinger, maybe. Reese's peanut butter cup. Is it a is it a circle? Peanut butter cup. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 Reese's yeah. Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah, those are really yeah, good. Yeah, those are good. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that one, uh -huh. that one. Yeah, uh-huh. Reese's. Reese's. Yeah, it's actually the first time to know the name. <laughs> <laughs> and also my favorite candies were like Skittles. Ah, Skittles. Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. And then I, I really like the sour one, sour Skittles. Uh, yeah, because they have like special ones sometimes mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Hayato, what about you? You went trick or treating? Yeah, yeah. What kind of costume did you wear? Pirate. Pirate costume? Pa pirate. And uh, some other, I don't remember. But yeah, sometimes you go and then you get these candy with like no labels on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was kind of afraid of those candies. They, uh, like homemade chocolates or something like I that? I don't know. Uh -huh. Maybe it's like no brand candy. So uh -huh. Yeah, sometimes. Okay, so depending on the house, some houses are really cheap. Uh -huh. And they give you like, like there's these corn shaped candies, like corn nugget shaped candies. Do you know what I'm talking about, Josh? Candy corn. Candy corn. Oh, uh, yeah. Those? Yeah, those mm. suck. Yeah, I don't like those. Those are horrible. Like those. If you give out candy <laughs> corn for Halloween, you are a terrible person <laughs> and you should feel bad about yourself. Wh why? 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 They're just gross little candy that they're not wrapped. So they just like throw them in your. We usually use that like a pillowcase. Uh -huh. So they just like take their hand and they touch them all and then they put them in your pillowcase. And you're like, what is this crap? Uh... So usually like houses give out like fun size candy bars mm -hmm. and things like that. So they're the little ones. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the really good home. That like the rich families, they give you like the full size candy bars mm. and stuff. Sometimes they give you like a like like Coca Cola and like a bottle or something. Mm. Like cool families do that. 
But candy corn families, you guys suck. <laughs> Don't ever give out candy corn. That's just wrong. Hey, until when is that okay to trick or treating? So that is totally up to the people in the house. Because, like, sometimes my house in Vegas, like, there we get, like, adults. Okay. They're coming up to your door and they're like, trick or treat. They're probably drunk. And we're uh-huh. like, go away. You're not a little kid. Oh, okay. But usually, like, until... 15 or 16 is usually okay. Uh, so no high school students anymore, like seniors. If they're like, if you have a beard, you mm-hmm. should not be trick or treating. That's uh, like, you know, if you if you can buy tobacco products, you should not be trick or treating. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Usually. But I like, you know, people are decorating a lot of, you know, like Halloween stuff, like skeletons are from, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. from top. And that, you know. Did you guys go to a haunted house when you were in America? No. Oh god! Like Come. real? No, no, no. They have them. They they prop up around Halloween, and it's like an attraction. Uh, you pay like twenty bucks, and you go if you walk through this house, and they scare you. That's only in Las Vegas. No, 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 no. They got it all oh, over yeah, the country. They do, huh? Really? They, they, do. they put them in like next to malls and stuff. Oh, cool! It's really, really scary. scary. Yeah, oh. it's really freaky. And then also like uh, theme parks like Disneyland and like Universal Studios, they get all Halloween themed. Mm-hmm. So like you go into Universal Studios, and all everybody's like in costume. Mm. And there's like smoke everywhere from the smoke mm-hmm. machine, and it's like kind of dark and creepy. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Yeah, uh, I thought a TV show, and then you know, most you know, scariest. Yeah. Uh, Hello, I'm in haunted house in Japan. Is the one in uh, the nanake. Ah, uh, 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 jet coaster ga ippai aru tokoro. Ah, Fuji. Fuji. Fuji Highland. Fuji ah. Highland. And then, you know, their theme park is, you know, I mean, um, haunted house is about hospital. Oh. It's the scariest yeah, one. I, yeah. I went to the one in Greenland. Okay. There were two. Uh-huh. And then the one that you take, like, a, you go up the hill. Mm-hmm. That one apparently is, like, real haunted oh, really haunted. but it was pretty scary i went I with feel, i feel like japanese like scary movies and american sp- scary movies are completely different you know yeah what I mean? they, like, american scary movies are like blood 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 mm-hmm. but it's not really that scary mm-hmm. but japanese movies like you it could be real mm. it's like really really scary really stuff. chill chilly yeah, yeah. what yeah. was that what's that the ring what's her name Setsuko? sadako sadako, sadako. sadako. It, it becomes, you know, Harley, Harley the movie, right? Yeah. Oh. After Japan. After we, we Japan. Cop- we, I thought the American version was more scarier. Really? Really? For, yeah, I'm for not me. college enough to watch, you know, those movies. Um, America copies a lot of Japanese movies. Like The Lion King is just a complete copy off of uh, a anime. Uh, Jungle Taite. Yeah, it, uh, it's like, what's it called? Jungle Taite Reu. Is that really? Yeah, yeah. It's a t- really? complete copy off of an anime. And then yeah, also... But, but Disney denied it. Yeah, they denied it. Of course they're going to deny it. <laughs> and then, then uh, in a long time ago, you had The Seven Samurai. Mm-hmm. It was a uh, movie from yeah, a long, yeah. long time ago. And America just copied it and made The Magnificent Seven Allah. and changed it from Samurai to Cowboys. Oh. It's the same exact movie, almost scene for scene, exactly the same movie. They're just oh. Cowboys instead of Samurai. Thank you, America, so, for automating Japanese movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's time for the news talk section. In this section, we choose a Japanese news topic and talk about it in English. Remember, if you guys have any opinions about anything we talk about, leave us a comment or write us on Twitter at Kaggle Talk, message our Facebook page, Small Talk Kagoshima, or become our line friend with the information on screen. Today's news topic comes from Soda News. Now, this is really funny, okay? NHK News, they have a Twitter account and they, you know, uh, before, sometime before there was a uh, Typhoon 19 came to Japan and NHK, instead of putting up information in Japanese and then in English, what they did was really stupid. They put a tweet out that was in Japanese, but all in hiragana. Hmm. Like, like, what, who... Can you believe that? I mean, it was uh, entirely, it was all in hiragana. Like, who is this for? Like, if you're a Japanese person, you should be able to read. Like, if you're looking for information on the typhoon, you should be able to read, right? Foreign people don't understand Japanese. Uh, foreign people who can't read Japanese probably don't understand Japanese anyway. So, like, they just wanted it in English. But they wrote it in hiragana. It was so hilarious. 
They、mm. put in English also? No, it's just in hiragana. Can, you, can one of you try to read this? Well, they're nice enough to kind of leave a space so it's a, kind of easier to read, but it's, so, it's, it's not.、Uh, why do they do that? Who's in charge of this? Yeah, who's in charge of this? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if you didn't you know, put this, I thought it's nice, actually. I、Why? Because, you know, you know, maybe, you know, the person who did this is thought, you know, many foreign people could read, you know, hiragana, but no kanji. That's why they, you know, put it only in hiragana. But you pointed out that, you know, there is no space. So, you know, it's much harder to, to, read. to read. Not only that, if you put that into Google to translate it into English, it won't translate because it, Google doesn't understand it. Yeah, I didn't know that. It needs all the kanji and everything to really understand Can it. Can you put that into. Yeah, please. It, it's all a mess. Yeah, yeah, it's a mess. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Look, NHK, we're, I'm going to talk. We're going to talk right here at NHK. You guys probably have an English speaking staff. Mm hmm. If you think about the, the people who is targeted by this tweet, you've got Japanese people who can read Japanese, so just put the kanji in there.、Mm-hmm. Then you've got foreign people that speak Japanese who could just read the Japanese, so just put the kanji in there. Then you have foreign people who don't speak Japanese, they don't need hiragana.、Mm. The, 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 amount of, the number of foreign people who can understand what you wrote in, in Japanese, read hiragana, but can't read kanji, is so small. Compared to just writing it in English. I mean, what, what, dude, it's NHK. You guys have, you guys take everybody's money, right? They come、mm. to your house, they take your money.、Mm. You guys can't find a translator for Twitter. Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's pretty embarrassing. Oh,、uh, I don't know why. I mean, there must be some English, no? No, no, they do have English tweets and they have NHK World, which is in English.、Uh-huh. So they have English speaking people. Just somebody in charge of their Twitter account was like, Well, we're just gonna upload this in Hiragana. Like, what? It's just weird.、Mm. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Yeah, that's what they think. So, that's、uh, many, many foreign people in Japan think the same way. Because、mm. we'll think about it, Natsuki. What, how many foreign people do you know that can speak Japanese so well that you can understand that tweet,、mm. but can only read Hiragana? Yeah, it's much harder to read. It's a very small、mm-hmm. number of people.、Mm-hmm. So if you don't understand kanji, then just put it in English、mm-hmm. because then everybody else is going to understand it anyway, right? That's right.、Mm-hmm. That's、uh, what is that, the universal language. Right. Yeah, or,、so. or they're concerned to. There are people who might want to you know, read Japanese. No? They're giving you typhoon information. That's、mm-hmm. not a time to like practice Japanese. <laughs> not, that's true. That's true. It's, it's、mm-hmm. like time for you to like get information about、uh-huh. the,、uh, the coming typhoon. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's not is, the time to practice Japanese. Is,、mm-hmm. that, is that tweet still up, up there? I think it is. It, I, w- I would like to hear some, some of the comments. Yeah, they, they have some, you know, thoughts. I mean, aim. I mean, point. これ読んで意味わかるくらいなら漢字も読めると思う<笑>。<笑>日本人は気にならないんですが、文字が限定され、単語ごとに切って読みやすいです、ね。Well, I guess they're thank you, nice guy. That's what is that? I think that's the Japanese person writing that just as a joke. 外国人ずらするな。台風。文章より。点過剰書きの方が必要情報をキャッチしやすいのでは。あ、uh,、they are pointing that. そう、で、で、これをグーグル翻訳すると、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Uh, well, there, I, I, w- I was expecting more like a more of a bashing, but I guess they're. Like, wow,、well, thank you for them, them, they're it you know, making fun, like, you know, yeah, it's it's、yeah. just weird, like, because they're the official news source of、yeah. the country,、mm. and they're like, let's tweet out in hiragana for、ah. the non Japanese speaker. It's just, it was weird,、ah, it's so embarrassing. But what, what is embarrassing is I didn't notice that if you didn't point it out, that tweet, tweet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. do you watch NHK? I do watch NHK, but you know, I thought, like I said, I thought it's nice. 
Ah, uh, mm-hmm. I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, like, there was an attempt. They tried. They tried. Mm-hmm. But it's just weird. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, you should you should hire some, you know, international people they, into NHK. They probably do. They have, have it. They have uh, NHK Global where everything, uh-huh. like, okay, for example, during 3.11, Sangi Chi Chi, like, a lot of really timely information was coming from NHK. Mm-hmm. They had it in English. It was mm-hmm. really, really good. Mm-hmm. But I guess whoever is doing their Twitter just... <laughs> They, it's like a part-time job. They probably the guy that does Twitter doesn't speak English, and then mm. just thought to do that. I don't know. I was kind of weird. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Today I learned something. Anyway, if you guys NHK, listen. If you guys need someone to help you with your English, just give me a call. You can hit me up on Twitter <laughs> at Kago <Coggle> Talk. <laughs> yeah. And now it's time for our audience question. Here, you guys at home, send us your questions about anything you want, and Natsuki and Hayato and myself will try to answer you. So let's go to this week's question. My name is Kani Yamashita. I am a student at Joho High School. I'm interested in family quest. So my question today is, uh, do you have a family quest? If you have it, what design? Or if you don't have it, what do you think uh, when you see Japanese family quest? Thank you. So like Stapleton family quest. Mm. So people who has Stapleton name Stapleton has like all same family quest. Yeah, but mine's got look at this. It's so weird. This is my family quest. I have no idea why. Who's that man? Yeah. I don't know. There's like there's like an African man on the top of it. I have no idea why. I have no idea why. It's the weirdest family crest. I've ever seen. Where does Stapleton come from? Stapleton is from uh, England, and it means staple is the name of a... a, a, a it, t- ton means cho, like town. Uh, um. <laughs> no, 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 not here. <laughs> cho no much. <laughs> cho. <laughs> How do you say cho in English? Intestine. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like okay. town, Matsine, like oh, town. Okay, okay. okay. so uh. it means the town of Staple. Okay. The name is Staple. Mm-hmm. So my name means whoever came from uh, England to America, he was from the town of Staple. Hey, it's what's what's the Hotchkiss in English? Stapler. A stapler. Uh, but then the actual little thing is a staple, so it's the same word, but it doesn't mean that. Okay. P- probably staple means like farm. Hmm. It's like staple is like a thing that you that is really important so it might be like farm farm town or something like that so your ancestors are a farmer everybody's ancestors are farmers oh, okay right but yeah i don't know something like that isn't that weird though it's so strange who's that man i don't know find what, out what, what are those i have like? no idea maybe he's a god is. or something this is just what google tells me my coat of arms is hmm. what about you natsuki do you got a family crest i Think I have, but I can't I tell. Think I have. Yeah, like, uh, like our like kimonos has a you know, family quest. Oh, okay. Uh huh. But I can't tell what it was, what it did look like. Hayato, you have you have a chance for two family crests because you have Boyd, Boyd. How do you how do you spell Boyd? Bo- Boyd. B O Y D. And then it sounds like Boyd. No, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just how I say. It. I'm oh, okay, sorry. Okay, yeah, okay. Boyd, Boyd. Okay, so it's Boyd. like this, basically. That's the sign. L? I don't know, but that's the... What's that? It's the... I don't know. It's the sign. Huh. Con, confido? Confido? It means something. <laughs> it means Boyd. something. So, yeah, basically, it's like two fingers. Yeah, anyway. Like so. secret... Scot- Scotland. Scotland. To boy. Uh... Like so. I promise something, I promise. I I don't know. Wait, you got two family crests, right? So you got this Boyd one. And I an Orita. Orita. I don't know. Orita. So you mean like your dad's mom's size name is Orita, and dad's size name is Boyd? Yeah, but it was or it's now Orita, but this last name is um something we my great grandfather or whoever bought it. 
It used to be Nakamura. But since he did not want to go to the war, so、oh. he bought the name Orita.、Hey. He changed the last name. Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Well, he、what? didn't want to go to war. He didn't want to go to the war, so he. Your, your dad's、uh, parents? I mean. My dad's like grandpa or,、okay. or whoever's. Okay. Yeah. So、hey. before it was Nakamura, it changed、hey. to Orita.、So. He bought his last name. Yeah. So he h i d e himself or something like that? I don't、that? know what happened,、oh, okay. but that's what I heard. So.、Oh. Anyway, interesting, yeah, but I don't know in Japan. Like, do you do you you have family crest? I think I have, I, I have seen those. I mean, I have seen that one before. We, I think, I my family hung it on the wall, but I can't remember what it looks like. Is it like the Japanese, the yeah, circle, yeah,、one? circle, and then some shape of flowers or something. Hmm. The most famous family crest here in Kagoshima is Shimazu, right?、Uh, ね、very, very simple.、Uh, cross. The cross.、Uh, cross. What, do, do you know what that means? You know. Hey, Alex, what does it mean? Write us in. Small talk, Kagoshima. <laughs> 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 anyway,、uh, her question was what do we think about Japanese crests?、Mm, do I think it's、have? cool. Yeah. It's cool. Because mine's weird. My family crest is very weird. But it has meanings. And then you know, every family class has meanings. So I want you to find out what those mean. i n g s I'll research it.、Honey. How do you research? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to Google it. I'm going to ask Google how to research my family crest. Okay. Wikipedia.、Uh, actually, Alex from s e n g e n g a y e n from、uh, working for Sumazu, he has a really cool family crest. What's his name? Bradshaw. Bradshaw. Yeah, he's got a really cool、uh, family crest. He used to use that as the logo for his school. Hey. Oh, so my school's、okay. name is Stapleton,、mm-hmm. my last name, and his, his school used to be called Bradshaw, which was his last name, and he used to use his family crest.、Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. It looks like a prank card. Yeah, it's, he's got a really cool one. That's so, cool. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you use yours for the school? It's weird. You have this、it's, man. It, no, it, it's really that is, weird. Yeah, dude, it's weird. Really? It's, I don't know what、okay, something's going on with my、mm-hmm. family crest. I don't know. We got, we, got, we got stories to tell about that. Thank you, Connie, very much for that question. It was a really good question.、Uh, if you guys at home have a question for us, film yourself asking it or write us on Twitter at Kago Talk, message our Facebook page, Small Talk Kagoshima, or become our line friend with the information on screen. And now it's time for you guys at home to tell us your favorite piece of Japan. Film or take photos of yourself doing whatever it is you love in Japan and tell us about it in English. And we might mention you in the show. Let's go to today's submission. Today's submission comes from Chris White, and it is the Ogawa Taki in the Osumi Peninsula.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's becoming very famous because、mm-hmm. you know, it was on the you know, Taiga drama's opening. Uh, yes. Taigo Takamori? Segodon. Segodon, yeah, the, the so, NHK drama. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So, like, many people all over Japan come for this now. So, Chris White says th- this was the most clear and beautiful blue water under a waterfall I've ever swam in.、Uh, it reminds me of King Kong, no? It does kind、yeah. of have that、oh. King Kong atmosphere.、Mm-hmm. Like the jungle that King Kong, the island that King Kong came from? Like, you know, in, in, the, the, in the, the movie, yeah,、hat. Donkey Kong. Yeah, it's a Donkey Kong, and I'm talking about King Kong. I don't understand why this looks like King Kong. Explain.、Uh, yeah, in the movie, you know, there, you know, the, the, the lady was swimming in the waterfall, and. Which version of King Kong? The original or like the, the new one? I don't know. The original. Like black and white one? No, not the black and white one. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, you're weird. What's going on? Because, <laughs> like, there's a new one that's like made by Peter Jackson, but I don't think that that's the one you're talking about. The, you know, the. Okay, what about Indiana Jones? I mean, like, many movies, like, you know, swimming. I think, I think what、uh, Natsuki is trying to say is that these, in the movie, like, the untouched、oh, places. Like real nature. Real、oh. nature. These are they're just beautiful, yeah, right? Yeah, thank、it's、you just, for helping me. Yeah, I, I think that's what you're trying to do. Is that Chris White? Yeah, that is Chris White. Wow. Have you, you guys have been here before, right? No. I have never been there. I've never I wanted to go. I've never been there either. Where is it? Osumi. It's an Osumi, Osumi side of、oh, Kagoshima. Yeah. So for you guys at home,、uh, Kagoshima looks like a pair of pants. 
It's got two legs, mm -hmm. and we're on this um, side, mm -hmm. and so that's, that's on area. that side. <laughs> so it's the other side of the peninsula. So it's actually really – you had to take a ferry to get over there. Mm -hmm. So I've never um, actually been there. Yeah, mm. but it's apparently it's very – very beautiful. Very. Yes. Beautiful. There's also like, oh, there's a lot of stuff on the Osumi side that I got to explore being on TV. Do you know that we have Kofun? Hmm. Did you know that? I kind of knew it, but I've never been there. The, the uh, they look like keyhole shaped uh, graves for like important people. Hmm. Is it just Kofun or is it Kofun? Kofun. 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 Mm. Yeah, we have those in Kagoshima. I didn't know that. We've got like four of them mm. or three of them. And they're all on the Os Osumi side. One of them you can actually slide down. Really? Yeah. It's mm. the only one in Japan that you can get on and slide down. Anyway, thank you, Chris, for that submission. Remember, guys, if you want to submit your favorite place in Japan, take some photos or video of you doing whatever it is you love in Japan and send them to us on Twitter at Kagotalk, message our Facebook page, Small Talk Kagoshima, or become our line friend with the information on screen. And now it's time for Hayato Teaches Mitch. In this segment, Hayato teaches me something about Japan, Japanese culture, or Japanese language. All right, Hayato, what do you got for me today? Okay, um, have you noticed that when, like, Japanese people mm -hmm. on the phone, mm -hmm. their voice pitch kind of uh, changes? It goes up. It goes up, right? Why? Oh, you want to get to that already? Oh, no. Okay. So, sorry. Continue. Then it's over. If I tell you the answer, it's <laughs> over. Yeah, so yeah, keep fast. going. Keep going. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So, actually, uh, this was on TV show. I, I was watching it. And Variety then, TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I was watching that too. Oh, uh, yeah? yeah? Oh, God, guys. Mm -hmm. But you didn't know that. No, I, I didn't watch this. Mm -hmm. I don't watch okay. Japanese TV. Anyway, so, and then they asked, they actually asked foreigners, mm -hmm. like, does your, does your voice change? Does it? go higher mm -hmm. they're like no mm -hmm. they don't change mm -hmm. yeah so there's a cultural difference here when japanese people when you're speaking to someone who's like more important or like if you're on the phone on a business you're you it tends to go higher mm -hmm. it's true mm -hmm. and the reason why is that is to make yourself look smaller what Right, that's what they said. Yeah, yes, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, so like babies, like little kids. Yeah, they're they have a high pitch, right? Yeah. And as you grow older, your voice tends to go lower. But in Japan, you don't want to intimidate or like feel like you're gonna give threats to anyone. So that's why your voice gets a little higher. Is that why people at the convenience store always say, you know you must say, you know how you must say. They don't like speak normally. Maybe that's Maybe, what it is. Yeah, like department store. Too. Yeah, like mm. the men speak with a really high pitched voice. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. probably the same. But like, we got, but we never I never knew this. I never knew but this. Too, I'm but either. I didn't know that, but I'm thinking about it when I get on the phone I go, Hi Moshi Moshi, hi so this I, I I get higher too mm -hmm. when I'm on the phone. Because you're very Japanese Japanized. Japanized. But mm -hmm. I've never noticed my Yeah, that's true. And this then, is a very yeah, and then thing. Uh, many foreign people listen to those and then they said that's weird. No? Yeah, they said it's mm -hmm. that's weird. It's like why do you change your mm -hmm. So in so the, what the foreigner said is that when they're on the phone, they don't change because they just want to show who they are, mm -hmm. like as the way they are. Mm -hmm. But in Japan, you tend to kind of come across like, I don't know, it's very Japanese. Like being thing. humble. Being humble, you know, like no threat. Hey, I'm, I'm very small. And so, then, you know, know, they actually, you know, let the people listen bo both like high pitch and low pitch. And then, you know, many Japanese people said that high pitch version is much nicer. Sounds nicer. Sounds nicer. But, you know, foreign people said lower, you know, pitch is much, sounds nicer. Mm, that's right. That's right. Really? Mm -hmm. The lower pitch actually sounded better to foreign people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like mature, more, like sounds like more yeah, mature. Yeah, that's right. They, they want it to sound more mature, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, there's another thing that I want to like add on to this is like, I feel like ja especially Japanese women, when they are speaking... They've got like two, uh, a lot of them have like two modes. They've got their like, he's like, oh, I know what you're talking about. And then like when they get like annoyed or angry, they're like, what? what <laughs> like they completely change. Mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do you do that, Natsuki? I do. So if you're on the phone, mm -hmm. do you, 
does it go high? I mean, Natsuki I guess it completely changes when she's on the phone because oh, really? she used to like deal with like uh, big company people and stuff like that on the phone. So she not only she speaks absolutely Kago every single time, it's always very high pitched yeah, and very like, friendly. Like very first time see, I mean, he, Mitch, you know, called me on the phone and then I pick it because and then it's like an unnoticed number and then I didn't know that's him. So I was like, must must see and then ah, Mitch, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so different. It's like the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> you should be polite to me when you talk on the phone. <laughs> anyway, then uh, here's a question, Hayato. Then why, when I when I talk to your father on the phone, he's like, "Mosha, Mosha." He doesn't. He, he doesn't care. <laughs> but my mom, she's she completely changes. Just really? just like That's the cute. example. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, it <laughs> goes higher. Yeah, it does. It, 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 yeah. What's must see it's a hi. culture, huh? Hi, it's so a... Disney. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, you sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Link. I'm Link. Today, okay. Not Mickey Mouse. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Speak. Okay, speak again. Like no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> But no, yeah, no, can you? Okay, so Natsuki, do your do your phone voice. Like if like oh, you guys do a phone call really quick. Go. Okay. Brr, brr. Mas, mas, he. あ、すみません。いや。あ、私ですけど。あ、あなたですか誰ですかえ、すみません。間違いでもですかはい、ごめんなさい。わかりました。いつ、いつ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
If you enjoyed listening to the show, you can subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Please leave us a review and let us know what you think. Thank you and see you next week.